Hi up folks, thanks for joining me on this little three-day adventure. I'm going to be walking from Ashbourne at the southern tip of the Peak District up to Buxton, which is sort of in the middle. This will take me through, I'm hoping, some nice White Peak countryside. I'm currently on the Tissington Trail, which is a big sort of cycle path, and then I'll be following the River Dove up through Dovedale, camp somewhere up there tonight before heading off to the source of the Dove up on Axe Edge Moor where I'll camp on the second night and then I'll just drop down the last few miles into Buxton on the third day where I'll get a bus home. So it's not too far, it's only about 25 miles so I can take my time, enjoy myself and I hope you'll enjoy it too. Well, this looks good. Should we go up? So this is the famous stepping stones at Dovedale and as you can see it's busy even on a term time Thursday in October.
Well, I've got an absolutely fantastic spot here. But I can't take any credit for it because I ripped it off another video. A really good one by Cat, aka One Girl and a Dog. I'll put a link below. She does the spot a lot more justice. Not only because she's very good at making videos, but also because she had a drone which gave it a bit more sense of scale really as to how high up we are in this lovely valley. Hopefully you'll get some sort of sense of the river down the bottom there. Noisy cows. Well, apart from the bovine chorus, there's not a lot going on tonight, I'm afraid. No cooking, really. I just had a dehydrated curry. It was very nice, though. I'm already in the sleeping bag, even though it's only nine o'clock. I'm feeling quite tired, so I shall probably be asleep before long. So I'll bid you good night and see you tomorrow. Well, good morning. After a nice eight hours sleep, I opened up the tent to sit in the porch and have my coffee. And the moment I did, it started raining. So zip back up and sit it out for a little bit. I'm hoping it won't last, it's not forecast. So I've been packing up a little bit and that's something I've been dreading in the Enam. I've not had to pack up in the rain yet i've been very lucky and why i've been dreading it is just because of the size and the lack of headroom but i found that if i drop the inner i've got loads more headroom and actually i've managed to get my sleeping bag and sleeping mat and everything packed away in here most of my clothes just got my waterproofs here camera gear breakfast stuff now, I may not bother with coffee after all. There's a village down the road. I think it's only about a mile away. I may just try my luck there, get my waterproofs on and get cracking. But if it stops in the next few minutes, I might uh, open up the door again. So I've got plenty of ventilation and make myself a coffee here. What I don't want to do is boil water in here and get it full of condensation because actually there isn't any despite the rain it's really dry okay well wish me luck and i'll see you soon well it did stop after all so i did make a coffee Well, thanks again to Kat for the inspiration on this spot. Really enjoyed it. Apart from a slight scuff mark there where my feet were in my boots as I was sitting doing my dinner. Hopefully I've left it as pristine as she did. 
as ever folks leave no trace now I've just got to carefully make my way down there on wet grass There's some cracking little caves around here. Look at this for a bivy. Flat as anything. Little shelf at the end there, you could put a lantern. Very cosy if you're into that sort of thing. Sadly, I'm not into caves really. A few reasons. There's that film, 13 Lives, I saw the other day. It's enough to put anybody off caves for life. Secondly, it feels a bit like being indoors really. I want to be outdoors on a camp. But the main reason, I think, why I don't like little caves like this is that, sadly, for some reason, they always seem to stink of piss. Well that BAP sorted me out. It means that I won't have to break into my quite expensive real termat ration pack which I can keep for another camp on another day when I really need it and there aren't any nice cafes and shops about. Well that's a nice view of where I'm headed. You might recognise some of those hills from a camp I did just over a year ago. I'm hoping to get to the furthest sort of brownish hill in the distance. That's Axe Edge, near to Buxton. That looks like a nice hill. Shall we go up it? Hope you can hear me against the wind. Looks like there's some weather coming in behind me. That's sort of where I'm headed as well. It's nice and flat up here though. Might be a potential camp spot another time. Well, I had a bit of a shock when I was in the pub 
because I looked at my app, OS Maps, and it said that I had about eight miles to go to my destination. And we're well into the afternoon. Days are short at the moment. So one of the things I wanted to do was scale that hill there, which when I was here last time, I also didn't have time to scale because I was in a hurry. And it looks like I'm gonna have to pass on it again. That hill further on was the one I camped on. But I'm gonna to have to avoid both of those and just go around the sides to save a bit of time. It's not bad. It's fucking awful. Axe Edge Moor, where the River Dove starts. And if you look down there, that's the Dove Valley heading off into the distance. And I started my journey, I think, just beyond the hills on the horizon. Now, the problem is, I've left the lovely white peak and I'm now in the boggy, peaty, soggy, dark peak. So, looking around, I might be struggling to find a dry patch. Let's see. Well, to be honest, I can be a bit of a fair weather camper, really. I tend to pick times when I know the weather's going to be OK. But obviously, I also have to be prepared if I get unlucky. And that's what happened today, because it started off lovely and then went really horrible by the end. Windy, cold, rainy. But it was good practice for me to try and sort it out in terms of getting the tent up and then getting in and getting all the wet gear off getting into warm dry gear and yeah it's worked i'm sorted quite glad it's the last night tonight though because yeah i've got wet stuff for tomorrow but luckily i've only got to go a couple of miles down into buxton to get the bus home right then I'll bid you good night. I might have some snacks. I don't think I'm going to have anything big to eat tonight. That breakfast brunch bap thing I had earlier was huge and has kept me going all day. That was a good call. Right, see you in the morning.
folks. This is the state of the tent this morning. I don't know whether that means some pegs have come out. Could be. I'll have to check in a minute. I think what I'm going to do this morning, I'm not going to bother with the coffee at all in here. I think it's just too risky. So I'll get packed up, get all my waterproofs on, have a look at the tent and how it's stood up and then get out of here. Now if the rain's anything like it was in the night, I'm going to have to put all my cameras away in my rucksack to try and keep them dry. So there might not be a lot of filming, I'll perhaps try and get a bit on this phone. So wish me luck and I'll see you down in Buxton. Well, I'm down in Buxton now. Didn't take as long as I thought, and it means I've got about three hours to wait for my bus. So I think a nice strong coffee is in order somewhere and a bit of brekkie. I think I'll say goodbye to you now then. Thanks for joining me. It's been a bit of a mixed bag when it comes to the weather, but I've really enjoyed it and I hope you have too. So thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.